<coughs> okay, there we go. Version 2. We'll check that out. Should be right. Alrighty, I uh, redid the redid the pattern, the drawing, and made a second bracket. And I made it a little longer. Now I need to figure out the placement of the tubes. This one's going to have a receiver hitch. It's going to be a little shorter than that. But uh, I wanted to see what I thought of this um, placement. So, um, got to use your imagination on this because there's nothing you're going by. So. Enjoy. Maybe I'll give you a different view this time. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to ruin the camera. Put the spark on it. Only takes one spark. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is, seeing how it's so hard to bolt, put bolts up from the bottom, I think what I'm going to do is, is um, instead of having nuts welded on the back side here, I think I'll weld the bolts on. So if those are welded like that, and then they could go in and set in the holes, then it'd be way easier to put a nut on the backside. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay. All right, we've got the first mock-up. Got the uh, bottom brackets in there. Got a couple of three inch spacers just to hold the pipe from rolling. I'm gonna look at this. I wanna see if see if I like it. So the next thing I need to do is determine the depth of this. Then that'll kinda determine the bars. Okay, well, it didn't rain yesterday, but it decided to rain last night. And, uh, yeah, we got some blue patches up there. So, it's kind of damp and cold today. So, we'll get back on the bumper. I uh, started on my neighbor's truck. A few weeks ago, talked to him again last night, and uh, we're gonna put a, a backboard here and put uh, put a piece around here and put a hitch on it. So got projects in the weeds, things I've started on and never finished over the years. Got my old sheet metal back there. Got some Model A stuff, Model T. Just mostly junk. So, we'll get on this bumper again. Didn't rain much at all. Everything's a little wet, but it's gonna dry off. This car's in pretty bad shape. 
but you know the front's straight enough to use as a pattern for the bumper back's been untouched so okay get back on this thing and look at that i got some rust oh huh. just rusty rusty water not rusty so, get back on that get this bumper going so all day yesterday yeah, maybe not all day. All I got was two bins and a chunk of tubing and two brackets. Kind of sad, huh? Yeah, that's how it, what it takes, though. But the nice thing about the two bins, they're in the correct spot, and that doesn't always happen. First off, when you're when you're bending tubing, you don't always get perfection on the first go around. But, you know, I made a good pattern here, following my pattern, and I got the car to look at, so. All right, pressure's going. Let's get to work. Alrighty, I'll show you what we got so far. We got the this is upside down. We've got the bottom and the top bar. This is for the rear. And I just cut these out. These represent the part of the recovery points. And also that right here is where the bottom right here. Bottom brace comes off the car. Gonna line it up at the edge. So, straight, clean those up and straighten them out. Mount them back straight. And here, this is the receiver. So that's where we are right now. So. And the rain that was going to come the other day, well, it didn't come that day, but it ended up in the next day and last night. So it's been, been raining out here a bit. Also got a, one of the bars for the front, front bent up right there. So I'll put you back on the tripod and you could watch for a bit. Really enjoyed the spring weather. Right now it's what, the first week of April. Look at that, all the little flowers on the tree there. I think that's a cherry, cherry tree, cherry blossoms. So, finally finished up a couple of bumpers. Last week I didn't feel well and so I didn't get much done. But, uh, Got them done, they're for a early Impreza. Just like this Impreza here, my, my white Impreza. I use that car over there as a pattern for the front and rear. So these are ready, ready to be picked up. So I think the customer's on his way. So we got a front and a rear. Here's the front bumper and the rear bumper with a two inch receiver. So this is a order I made for a guy down south and 
he's on his way to come pick him up. So I like how they turned out. And they have a spot for the for a clavis, for a recovery point. So we got four recovery points. Two on the rear bumper, two on the front. And I could put a receiver in the front also. I've, I've had people that wanted that before. So no alterations are needed to mount these on your, on your Subaru. This is SJR up in Bellingham. Okay, they're off. There goes the bumpers to their new home. Okay, here's the bumpers going to a new home. Not sure where they're going. This guy knows. He's picking them up. Oh yeah, couldn't be more pumped. And uh, you have a car that looks similar to this one over here? Yep, yep. So, so yeah, they're going to Bremerton? Somewhere, mm -hmm. somewhere down in Bremerton. Kitsap County. And you got to drive here all the way here? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day now, but it was rainy. Now, yeah. now it's cleared up. So. All right, that was a fun project. Here's the bumpers mounted up on the guy's car. Um, and if you would like a set of these bumpers or a different bumper, I mostly make for Subarus. You could contact me at uh, www.sjrlift.com, as you see on the screen there. And uh, thanks for watching.